Hi everyone, the big day is finally here. Let's have a look at the Be A Remote Halo. Let's get into it. As per usual, it's something new. Let's start with an unboxing. <laughs> the packaging, I must say, is really, really nice. Again, great job, B&O. Nice sleeving, nice sort of aluminium floating around on the inside then we get to this very nice box magnetized and then we get ever and ever closer to the star of the show Let's put that there. don't mind the old remote that's how huge they used to be and then we get to that box So this is the box it comes in and I'll adjust camera position so you can see it better because it's get a, it gets smaller for me on it. So here we have the box for the Be A Remote Halo. It's a really nice looking box. b and has been really on point with their, with their box game lately. Yeah, man. And there we have it sensors it's on there's a proximity sensor in here so we just crossed it and let's get further down to it there's a little manual a charging cable and everything in there and take that out and it's really rather gorgeous so this is the volume ring and let's go set it up see how that goes so here we are with the setup it finds the halo in the app press ok this is a bit beta at the moment but it works and it works well so uh, now it's looking for Wi-Fi and uh, the list thereof so uh, let me keep this to myself because it contains my password it's searching it's found it it's connecting connecting to product Come on. there we go and then we have name halo next then the products you want to connect it to in my case I'll do all next this will be filled in with a picture later on obviously and there we have it and that's basically it and now the screen says on the halo itself software okay okay and there we are and it's really as simple as that now to control it you uh here on where it says biovision harmony up top it's all touch screen by the way you can get to all your devices i don't know why it says halo there but that may be because it's a, a bit beta software at the moment and then you have your my buttons your, your source is within the harmony at this point and you can choose whatever you want really I mean the same goes for the stage and we're connected it's actually really really responsive and I really like it also you have your multi room right here you have your my buttons which you can set your my buttons will be the, the same as in uh, your, your device which is really rather nice because then you don't have to like memorize eight of them for devices on the other hand would you like more some people probably do so yeah that's how it works uh, come on there let's go to harmony and press a my button 
my TV now starts up, all the speakers come on. I just chose TuneIn, which is radio. And it's about to start playing and uh, I probably have to stop the music for a copyright and it's as simple as that. It's very, very responsive. I really like this a lot. So let's sit down and have a chat about it. So let's have a chat about the Be A Remote Halo. It's bloody gorgeous. But first, let's start with a peel. Uh, sorry, music playing in the background. Don't know if it caught. And a little <laughs> proximity sensor right there. It's really rather nice. And as you can see, the music's off at the moment. So uh, let's have a quick look at uh, what it works with, what it doesn't work with. It's quite a lot, uh, both ways. <laughs> it works with the Beer Sound Core. It works with the uh, Beer Sound Essence Mark II. It works with the Beer Sound 1 first gen, second gen. It works with the Beer Sound 2 first gen, second gen. It works with the uh, BioPlay A8, second gen, third gen, fourth gen. It works with the BioSound Edge. It works with BioPlay M5, BioPlay M3, BioPlay A6, BioSound 35, BioVision Harmony, BioVision Eclipse, BioSound Stage. I don't know if it works with the uh, balance at the moment. I don't think so. It's not mentioned. Uh, I think if NL is introduced in the beer sound balance, it will probably also work with uh, the beer sound balance. It doesn't, however, work with the beer sound moment, the beer link converter NL ML converter, that one, the beer sound uh, system 4, which is a bit of a shame because those are quite everywhere if you have an older avant. Uh, video engine 1, it's old, so if you still have that, Bluetooth isn't there, so yeah, that was kind of expected. Uh, Video Engine 3, same thing, doesn't work with that. Uh, and the Biosound Essence Mark uh, 1 doesn't work with this either. I mean, uh, it works with quite a lot uh, in the end though. Basically everything that's current, uh, yeah. It's, it says uh, the battery lasts about uh, 24 hours of use. I don't know how to calculate use, but uh, for me the battery lasts about three days. And generally at the end of those three days, it tends to be in the evening and I charge it. If you are, are however, a power user, uh, you can get one of the Bang & Olufsen uh, Qi charging pads because you can uh, charge it via USB-C, but you can also just uh, set it atop a Qi charger and it charges. Charging time from uh, fully dead uh, to fully full is about six hours, they say. You never really go fully dead, so it's not really ever six hours. But if you leave it on overnight while you sleep, you're sure you're gonna have a, a full remote for the next day. <clears throat> I must say though, uh, this is a bit of a first look because uh, I, I don't know what they're doing with software because uh, right now as you can see uh, the TV is playing in the background and uh, I can swipe up under one of my my buttons is uh, is, is my uh, a tune in station there Ooh. <laughs> tune in station the TV is going down the speakers all switched and it's all going for the life of me uh, I don't understand or maybe I'm doing it wrong I, I don't know but uh, I can't get Deezer to work however I can get it to work if uh, I uh, start it in the app and then you can browse with those arrows left and right through your playlists and that sort of thing. It is a bit annoying though, because I don't think there is any reason to why like uh, 
see, <laughs> those arrows for TV are not there. I would love to just uh, uh, flip a channel. Uh, being one by one is fine enough for now, but it's not there. I guess it's positioned as, as a, a remote more for audio devices. And it does that excellently. Um, it is quite opulent. It's 750 euro. I really like it, uh, but it's not quite finished yet. But you know, you really need to do some stuff on the software. And to everybody watching, I challenge you uh, to let B&O you know, know what they need to do with the software. So leave us down in the comments what exactly you would like it to do. I mean, don't, don't go like ham and say uh, it needs to do a bunch of third parties, but what do you want to see it do with Bang & Olufsen, for instance? Probably the BioLink, uh, Bio Living Intelligence or the BioLink Gateway at some point should be added because this is kind of for power users in the end. I mean, uh, not to mention, this also comes in, a, in a, a wall bracket version with power over ethernet and uh, you hang it on the wall like that and you can dot a few around and uh, it basically replaces what people have done for ages is hanging iPads in the wall. This is, to me, much more elegant. But there needs to be some more stuff. I, I would love a bit of more sort of app integration, I guess, like the apps you use on TV, like, like it's all, since it's all digital and it's touchscreen, why not have a Netflix button uh, or similar, a Deezer button, if, if, since it's a, a remote, or, I mean, uh, let us configure that sort of stuff. I would love that. Um, actually, for what it is, you may think by what I just said now, it's incomplete. But the thing is, I've had this for uh, a fair few days and a uh, big thank you to Bang & Olsen, to Horst here in Utrecht. And I actually use it daily. It's not complete software wise. Physically, it's absolutely stunning, it's gorgeous, and it's really heavy, it's hefty, it's proper B&O. Like even the, the battery compartment here, it it feels proper. And, uh, but yeah, like, like I said, I, I use it daily even though it's not finished. So I sometimes feel like I'm complaining about nothing. Because like you'd be a remote one, just like any remote, if, if you, I don't know, sit in a couch or in a chair, you may uh, leave it there and then, I don't know, it slides down the couch, this or that. That will never ever happen with the Beer Remote Halo. It, it's purely opulent. It sits there, nobody knows what it is. And uh, if you want to change source really quickly, if you want to change volume really quickly, so that's why I kind of feel like, since it also can control the TV, if you want to change channel really quickly, why not? Maybe at the time of launch, this is all different and uh, this was just a bit more beta software. I don't know. This is a film pre-launch, so maybe uh, after this goes live, it's all different again. Uh, I hope so. But uh, yeah, the, the exterior wise, it's gorgeous. The interface is really quick, like the proximity sensor. I really love that because it saves a heck of a lot of battery. And uh, see, it, it, it catches it there and that's like 30, 40 centimeters away. So even quite often when it sits on the table over there, if you walk by, it pops on. You go like, hey, oh yeah, that song. And like you can see now, the song and title is, is showing what's playing. So that is really nice to have. I'm definitely keeping this, but I really hope B&O you know, is a bit quicker with the software updates. But it's also on you guys to let me know down below in the comments what you would like this to do more. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, many, many thanks to Bang & Oz and to Horst. Uh, if you could also go to his website, links down below. Uh, he can probably get to you anything B&O you know, related anywhere in the world if you really wanted to. And that's up to you, not to him. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, hope to see you in the next one. Like, subscribe and all that jazz. And uh... oh, I'm keeping it, I'm keeping it. It's so great.